Hey guys, the objective of this video is just to look at formula we're going to be using in the next couple of videos. I'm not going to be doing any examples, I'm rather just introducing the formula we're going to be using and the methods of using them. So, we're going to be looking at formulas for area, first moment of area, centroid, second moment of area, and then we're going to be looking at methods of solving these problems using slices and squares. So, what we're going to have is some type of shape in reference to reference axes x and y, and then x dash and y dash is the centroidal axis. So these axes act at the centroid of the shape. So to find the area, you would just solve um, the integral of a over dA. It's pretty simple. The first moment of area, bx, is integral of a y dA. by is integral of a x dA. bx dash and by dash is the first moment of area in reference to the centroidal axis, and these are in reference to the reference axes. So because you're at the centroid, the first moment of area, bx and by dash, is just zero. The centroid, to find the centroid in terms of your reference axes, so we want to know, say, um, the, the yc and xc, how far up our centroid is and how far across our centroid is, you would do bx on a for yc, and xc, which is the distance x for the centroid, would be by on a. The second moment of area, ix is equal to the integral of a over dA y squared, iy is the integral of a over dA x squared, ix dash, so the, sec the second moment of area um, in reference to our centroidal axes will be the integral of a dA y dash squared, iy dash is integral of a over a dA x dash squared. Now, the method of solving these problems, you can solve them either by taking slices, so we take a slice there, for example, dy thick or a slice there dx thick, or you can solve them with little squares, so infinitesimally small squares, dx by dy. Now, the method you want to choose is very important. So when you get a problem, you need to determine which method, either through slices or squares, you're going to be using, because it makes things a lot easier when you know what you're doing. If you've got a simple shape, like a square or a rectangle, using slices,